So today I thought I'd try and make a scroll saw picture of this deer using the pattern you see in front of you. I'm going to be using some birch ply which I buy in 8 foot by 4 foot sheets but I rip it down into lengths like this for more convenient uh, storage. I rip it down into 10 inch wide sections and the picture today I'm going to make is a 10 by 8 so the first step is to cut this piece and this blank down into a 10 by 8 section ready for the pattern so we just mark it out into an 8 inch length like so And then cut along the line with a jigsaw using a fine tooth blade which will make hopefully a nice smooth cut. So I now have my rough 10 by 8 blank. I should just tidy up a little bit with some sandpaper. And on this type of birch plywood, there's always one side, it's a lot smoother and nicer than the others, often known as the dressed side. There we have it. And on this occasion, I'm going to apply some light oak wood wax. So as I said, that's a walnut that I use. But on this occasion, I'm going to be using a medium brown or light oak colour. Apply that using a cloth, and because it's cold today, the wax is quite firm, so it'll take a bit of working in. So please bear with me. And there we have the wax applied. As I said, medium brown, light oak against the original colour. I'm now going to apply some masking tape, which I will then mark up with pencil lines and attach the pattern. For this pattern, just to make sure it's nice and central, I'm going to mark a center line. But don't press too hard, otherwise you'll make an impression on the wax underneath. It's not a, uh, totally bad if you do, because you can go over it again with your wax, just to fill the marks in. For as light as you can, down the center. Because it's going to have an inner frame, I'm going to mark up the square inside as well, just to help me get the pattern as straight as possible. 
we can just about see that and this pattern I'm going to cut out just to help me fit it all in nicely it's not too close to the outside line where I'll be cutting around with the scroll saw otherwise you'll find the paper pattern itself starts to lift off and makes life a little more interesting for cutting so there's my line so we're going to be aiming for about there and to help me line it up again i just put a few more lines here and there as references so i can take it off and apply my glue this is just a glue stick it needs breathing on to warm it up in the cutting process and my lines a little lower down to get it as central as possible for this particular pattern there we go and we reference lines and there we have it stuck in quick double check with the frame it's fine by me and then we just need to drill the holes to start the uh, scroll saw blade off in on this occasion I use a one and a half millimeter drill bit. I only need to drill one hole, start where I can find a, a corner. Don't go all the way in, otherwise your drill will catch the paper and rip it. I use a little rat tail file you can find in any hobby sh shop. Just open up the hole a bit make life easier for putting it through so I've threaded the blade through the hole I will now start to cut out this pattern I'll speed it up for the air uh, making it less time consuming for you to watch but feel free to uh, fast forward anyway so here we go So here we have the pattern, cut all around, just gently remove the bit we don't need anymore and it's just a case of peeling off the tape that we put on earlier.
quick check to see if there's any lines there's just one along there so I'll apply a bit more wax to that to where my pencil is a little heavy and a little bit of sanding on the back just where the uh, wood's roughed up a bit as the blade has gone through but that won't take two seconds so here we have the picture it's all been sanded now and cleaned up and all nice and smooth and tidy for a lot of my pictures I usually just have a black background but on this occasion I want to use a bit of tartan as I live in Scotland and it just gives it a little extra twist <coughs> I'll be using this piece today and I just secure it on with a bit of framers tape before then placing it into the frame Yeah, <clears throat> all nice and secure, and there it is. It's just a case of popping it in the frame twice now. I keep the glass and spray it to make mirrors. the border, the picture and the backing. Often quite snug. Just bend over the tabs. And there we have the picture in its frame.